Hey everybody, Kyle Ford here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about RAID. I know that you may have Googled RAID in the past and the, the search results were just full of technical jargon, nerd speak, and the first thing you did was get overwhelmed, close that tab, and continue to amass hard drives on your desk. Well, I hope to demystify RAID for you and show you some of the benefits that it has for creatives. The first thing we have to do is define RAID. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. This just means that we're using multiple drives to achieve better performance and or reliability. Let me address one of the common questions about RAID. Is RAID a backup? Well, no, RAID means redundant, not backup. So just because your data is mirrored on two drives doesn't mean it's backed up. Backup means two separate copies of your data in ideally two separate physical locations, meaning that it protects against accidental deletions and viruses and crypto lockers and other things that happen to your data. So today we're gonna to be focusing on the most basic of the RAID options, RAID 1. With today's demo unit, it's gonna be a two drive setup provided by Synology. The primary function of RAID 1 is reliability. This means you have multiple disks in the same unit that house the exact same data. In this example, we have two drives that are mirrored exactly housing the exact same data. What this means in function is if one of the two drives you have fails, all you have to do is replace the failed disk with a new one, tell the system to rebuild the array, and it'll copy itself back over to the new disk, and you've lost no data, and you've lost no working time. Just a note that I think that I should make is that with RAID 1, you're always gonna have half the available storage space of the two disks because they are mirrored. But I like this option because it is the most simple and is extremely safe. Jumping into RAID was really simple. Getting started with this Synology drive was super easy. All I had to do was unpack the unit and then follow the quick start guide. And if you guys have questions along the way, don't get discouraged, that's totally normal. Just know that each manufacturer, whether it's Synology or others, have a ton of great videos and frequently asked questions in their support site. That can get you started and probably answer any questions that you have. Special thanks to Synology for providing the DS218 Plus, which is the entry level unit for the Plus series. It's a great unit for photographers starting out that don't require a lot of storage and can be connected to an expansion unit once you outgrow your current storage space. I'd also like to thank Seagate for providing the hard disks for this unit to get us up and running in no time. Since we discussed earlier that RAID shouldn't be treated as a backup, I've included a link in the description of the video to an article I wrote for Masson Labs called Getting Started with Backups. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.